What's going on guys? Welcome back to Chop Toys. A little bit different kind of project today. We're piecing together a 58 Tonka tow truck. And uh, we're not going to restore it. We're not really going to fix it. I've done some stuff to this many, many years ago. And I never was able to find a good tow truck bed. And I happened to just take a look the other day on eBay and I found the perfect one. Matches this exactly. But that'll be the last step. Got a few other things to do with this before we uh, wrap it all up. So let's go over what we've done. Starters, already. I bought this cab and frame on eBay long, long ago. No idea how much I paid or anything. Um, it's pretty rough shape. The roof was smashed. The roof light was missing the light. Had the metal ring. I uh, don't believe the grill came with it. I think I bought the grill and bumper separate. Uh, I've got several sets of tow truck grills and bumpers that match. Um, I've got quite a bit of spare parts, but I'll show you some more of that later. Um, original headlights, original grill with no dents, it's just weathered, it's just aged. Um, the bumper's probably a little shinier, I might swap it, eh, we'll go with that one. I've got one that's a little rustier, but I, I think we'll have one nice thing on there. So I straightened all the metal out on it a long time ago. You can see in the grill, it's original paint, and it has the original, uh, paint stuck in the grooves and the vents um no real dents the body's pretty straight the frame was tweaked and the roof was smashed like i said and i've replaced got a new aftermarket windshield in it and uh it fits very well a lot of them i've gotten lately off a little bit and need a little trimming which is not a big deal it's just fit and finish you know this was your point where every kid put their hand on it when they played with it so it always got smashed in now a neat thing the roof light is aftermarket, but the metal ring actually goes to the truck. And I don't know how I ended up with that because if one comes off, the other comes off. So I'm guessing I had an original one from somewhere else. I do have some new ones over here in a drawer, but that the patina on the metal looks a lot better. Now, the t uh, some of them had red, some of them had blue. The tow trucks all had red. Fire trucks, eh, I believe, had blue. I don't know if I have any blue ones. But uh, for 58, no nothing on the on the tow truck, just just that, and they were all white. And uh, yeah, I'm moving around the side. On the side here, it, it, see, it's pretty scratched up. It's got a bit of rust. I'm not gonna clean this one again. I'm sure I cleaned it when I first got it. I did my scrubbing bubbles treatment, where I uh, just throw it in the bathtub, spray it down with scrubbing bubbles, let it soak till they're no longer foaming, and then hose it down with the shower head on. A hard spray with super hot water really gets all the little all the dirt out of all the little nooks and crannies doesn't really make it rust any worse um, you know it's not any worse for the wear because of it uh, this one has somebody's initials carved in the door you can see RB here on the side that's kind of cool to me I, you know I, some somebody liked this truck so much they put their name on it so you know it wouldn't get mixed up with the other kids Tonka trucks in the sandbox <laughs> That, that to me that's that's one good reason not to restore it because that's it, that stuff's kind of cool playware and stuff it, that's neat it shows it was loved and appreciated so I'm just gonna try to fix it back up to somewhat original condition um, the tires like I said this truck had nothing on it uh, no tires and wheels these are new tires and they have been on here in a box for a few years and they've already hardened up quite a bit. Um, I can't remember. I think it's three sixteenths or seven sixteenths. I can't remember. I think it's seven sixteenths that these are, and uh, these little lock washers. And my lock washer had come off the front, and it was stuck inside the hubcap uh, in the tire itself. So I pulled that one off to get the lock washer out. The axle was a hair short, and it didn't like the roll. These new tires are very. They're very, they used to be very supple, that they are quite a bit harder now, but they're still not like originals. And uh, when you push it on there, it locks, and then it, the rubber hitting the frame, it didn't really want to spin. And that bothered me for a while, so I tried to pull it out a little bit. Ended up coming off, and I just, you know, I wasn't doing anything with this truck anyway, so I just put it in a box and let it be. But um, in the rear, I've got just original tires. Not worried about that. You're not really going to be able to see them. I don't think it's a that's a huge deal. I've always done that on my dualies. I'll just throw some some decent looking tread original tires in there. T 
typically when you pull the hubcaps out of these when they're hard this little lip around the edge that holds the hubcap in breaks so you might have a great looking tire but if you pull the hubcap out it's run so save them clean them um, I haven't done it in a long time my old process for these tires if I got a set that I wanted to try and reuse uh, I would soak them in armor all coat them soak them however just saturate them in armor all let them set for days and uh, rinse them in warm water and sometimes depending on how you know how worn they were you could actually get a hubcap back in them um, <clears throat> I've had some before that I've had to actually sand down the lip of the hubcap try not to make it sharp so it doesn't cut the rubber but just make the diameter just a little smaller and be able to squeeze it in an original tire and uh, be able to save it and you can't tell those tires are so hard once the hubcaps in it's in for life <laughs> but uh yeah these like i said these are brand new these i picked up on ebay from somebody quite a while ago and then they've already hardened up a little bit but they're still <laughs> still give good traction but uh yeah so we got to reinstall the front axle and let me flip it around here the other side i don't think there's anything real special the stickers are both in pretty good shape they're yellowed this truck has been outside quite a bit but uh overall it's pretty good condition I, i'd give the truck just because the paint it's probably a five or a six six being if you know it's super straight if it was original window and stuff it'd be better but it is what it is so let's move along here to the next process All right, so we're gonna look at the axles first i accidentally pulled the back one off too <laughs> so uh you can see the wheel inside of there is a later it's got rubber breaking out of it later style with the white wall um tread decent enough now i've got the cap inside of here so i already pulled the front one off i use these little awls these little angled scratch awls you got to be careful because you will bend the hubcap and this is a very nice original hubcap I get in there and kind of turn it i don't want to get it too far under the lip of the tire boom pops out so i think that was the problem i was having these axles are a little short so i'm gonna to have to pull the back one off i think the front one will be okay i'm gonna do some measuring here i've got somewhere i've got a whole bunch of those are nylon axles where are my tongue oh got a whole bunch of original axles here pretty rusty but i'm going to see what we can uh make work all right so i found one axle original axle long enough it is bent i'm going to try to repair it um all my other axles are for single wheel i'm not sure if you can see this one here it has it's almost cut the end off of it somebody really really played with that one a lot it's got a huge groove in it the other side's not as bad but it does have a groove and that's just from that metal on metal over years of play um the one i have in there is really straight but it's just too short i think that may actually be one that i made it looks like the end of it's cut so it's probably one that i made from some steel rod from home depot so I'm, what i'm going to do this is a later one as you can tell it's got a little bit bigger head on it this is probably a 63 or something and uh i'm going to try to clamp it in the vise and just force it straight i don't know if that's going to work if it doesn't we may have to put some heat to it um, we'll just have to see where it goes. Alright guys, so that worked out pretty good. I got it actually pretty straight. No heat needed. It uh, seemed like it wanted to go back to where it's supposed to be. Uh, typically, at this point, I'd sandblast them or at least put them in the end of a drill and sand them down. But it matches the truck the way they are, so I'm not going to go the extra mile on them. Um, see, we've actually got quite a bit sticking out here, so I may do this the factory way. And the way that is, they have a retaining washer that goes on, and then they burr the end of the axle so the washer can't come off and everything stays in place. Um, I've done that with limited success in the past. See the washer just fits right over. We've got about a quarter inch to play with. It's dangerous. I'm nervous about it with new tires, but I'm going to take the Dremel and I guess I'll use a sanding disc. 
Uh, that one's got a little bit of sanding on it. You may have to find me a harder Dremel bit. And we're just going to try to flat spot the end of that, raise the lip on it, and uh, keep that re washer retained. that pretty well I went ahead and put a little bit longer axle in the front just because um, it was just a little narrow as well I needed to be able to get that on there you don't have to put the factory washer back on I just did it because I had the space and thought it might help so now we're gonna put the hubcaps back on and hopefully these tires are good enough that we can just slide them back in and make it work without any kind of lubrication Fingers crossed. It's not looking that way. I regret taking these off now. <laughs> so I'm going to mess with this in high speed because it's probably going to take me a little bit. Alright guys, so that actually didn't go too bad. Just took me a couple minutes. Wore my thumbs out. I used a little isopropyl alcohol. You can use any kind of rubbing alcohol as a lubricant because it's fast drying. We use it at work to install a lot of rubber parts on plastic. And, uh, you know, by the time you get done, it's dry. Worked out pretty well. Shouldn't affect the rubber at all. So I'm going to attempt something I've never done. I was going through my bins of parts and I have original replacement rivets for the Tonka truck. And looking at the front of this, you can see the body's never been off. Everything's rusted into place real nice. Um, I don't know why I took the bumper off. Oh, it may not have had the bumper. That's what it was. It didn't have a grill or a bumper. Somebody removed it, but they left the cab and the frame together. Um, if I had to guess, I probably didn't pay much for this. If it didn't have windshield or roof light or grill or bumper, this was probably a $15 truck. No tires or wheels in this condition. So I think I'm going to come out ahead with what I paid for the tow truck bed. But the way the original rivets work, it's a crush rivet. So you put it on from the front, and um, they're available on eBay. You can buy the tool to do it. I may go ahead and invest in that. I'm going to try and cheat, and I don't think it's going to work. The original tool is a C-clamp, but this end has been modified, and it allows the head of the uh, rivet to fit down in there nicely. And I don't know if I can modify this one to work, <laughs> so I'm going to mess with that here for a second. See what I can come up with. Alright guys, so I did that off camera. It was a horrible mess. <laughs> I uh, think I'll be ordering the right tool. The C-clamp wouldn't work at all. It just has too deep a hole in the uh, the screw side of the clamp. Um, I ended up just using a big hammer and a really big punch. And it was messy and they're not completely tight. But they're holding. So we'll redo that later. Again, this truck, it's, you know, we're not restoring. We're not customizing it's just it needs to look good the bumper sets nice and straight the rivets are all boogered up from uh, the piece of metal I had it face down on I put some tape on it but they were just knocking right through so the right tool will definitely benefit me I'm you know been doing this for 18 years I think I'd have the right tool by now but <laughs> we'll get there I'll do a look on eBay here in a little bit so we're down to the last part. I got on eBay and I just happened to run across this. Ta da! The perfect 58 tow truck bed to match this cab. It has the right amount of patina. It's got all the parts and it's pretty straight. So I think it's going to fit this truck pretty well. Um, I would love to find some more of these. I used to, somebody used to remake them. All the pieces I had a new boom and stuff, but I could never find. The actual bed itself but um yeah this one it, i put it on this truck earlier and it just looks it, like it came off of it so we're just gonna roll with it now these are uh, speaking of ebay oh i can't afford that <laughs> um these are really easy to mount it's just got the four tabs sticking through from the boom and uh they slide through holes on the frame where you're Saddle tanks would mount for a wheel, and your fifth wheel would mount on a fifth wheel truck. And 
Boom. All we got to do is flip it over, fold the tabs down, and we've got a complete truck. Sometimes it can be intimidating. You don't want to break these tabs off or you're really hosed. Um, I already bent one over just to kind of hold it in place. The key is just to hold everything firm. You can see this side is still loose. I'm going to get under there and hold up on the boom and hold against the frame. And you really can't grab it and fold it. You can a little bit, but it's not going to lay flat because your blade of your pliers are under it. So then I like to grab the edge of the metal here and I'll just force it over the rest of the way like that. And you can see it kind of self aligned when I did that. Worked out pretty good. You won't always have that option, like in the back here is a little trickier, but we can still, I may have to get some different pliers. These won't open enough. Fold them as far as I can. Fold that one in as far as I can. You can fold them either way, I think. Those pretty much go that way. These can go either way. Um, we'll try to get in that hole in the middle and force it down the rest of the way. I can do this one from this side. Booms nice and tight. You can actually see the underside of the truck now too. Fairly clean, you got some cobwebs in here. Let's leave those because it goes with the look of the truck. So uh, let's flip it over and see what we got. Oh, I'm pretty happy. These all tow truck, Tonka tow trucks, they hold their value. They're pretty expensive. This truck, if it was all original, which it's close enough, I mean, I didn't really it's got a windshield, it's the only real new part on it. Um, but if this was all original, came as the same truck together, these 58 in this condition would be 140 to 180 dollars, maybe. Um, just depends. It, somebody strikes them a certain way, somebody may like that those initials carved in the side like I do and want to pay more for it. A really nice 58 wrecker, maybe 250 max. That's that's kind of what I've seen going around. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've got, I paid, shipped 75 bucks for the back. It's kind of high, but they are hard to come by, well, in a separate, you know, it's, it's either the whole truck or it's just bits and pieces or stuff like that. So I thought it was perfect for this. So I, <clears throat> I put in the money, got 15 bucks for a windshield, the tires, I think four new tires is about $32, give or take a little bit. So minute for a little over a hundred bucks roughly but i like it it's gonna be a good display piece i love the tow trucks um we'll get something out here to tow on it here in a minute but i'm gonna go spin it around here and we'll look at all the sides good close-up look at the front you see it's scratched the hood corners and stuff though but there's no dents it's nice and smooth all the ridges are non-dented it's really a straight truck it just you know if, if you're really in the restorations this would be a good candidate I would hate to see somebody tear this up to repaint it and make it shiny, but that's what people do all the time. This truck would be complete, and uh, you know, I really love the patina on the grill, how it's rusty at the top, and it's still shiny in the front, but there is not a dent on this grill. It's perfect. So it, it, that's that kind of look you just can't beat, and the way the rust and stuff flows off of it. The bumper goes with it pretty well. I went with a little bit nicer bumper. I had one that's a little more rusty, but the bed's a little bit nicer, at least on this side, than the cab. So, kind of just trying to tie it all together. This side, nice and straight. Not a whole lot of wobble. The body's a little bit loose. Got our initials carved in it. These are original hubcaps, by the way. I don't know. I've got a whole cabinet back here full of hubcaps, old and new, reproduction, originals, completely rusted over. I've got some I uh, sandblast, I've got some I've polished. Got a little bit of everything. Um, these I think had the perfect finish. They're just a little hazy. They're not super shiny. They look very original, which they are. So <laughs> I've got a couple little stuff on it, a little mess up on the on the center caps and it's got a little play wear. I and mean, it fits the bill pretty well. The bedside over here is a little rustier, got a little dent, some a lot of chip paint on the fender lip. Um, we have our even have our dumbbell lights. These are supposed to be spotlights up on the rack, and uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. Back, I'm glad I went ahead. That I kind of squeezed these rear axle mounts in, so I could use that shorter axle that I had on it. Um, that's probably why this project got set aside because I was starting to kind of half-ass stuff like that. And once I get like that, I don't want to continue it. I'll put it up and come back when I'm in the the right frame of mind to do it right. 
So we've got the correct length axle on there. Um, couldn't get the burr. I don't know if I talked about that. I couldn't get to burr the edge. I don't have the right kind of bit for my Dremel to really eat in the metal enough. And I was worried I was going to hit the rubber because that soft rubber, it would chew right through. So we just use those uh, little lock washers. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a reproduction chain and hook, if it's even the right kind of chain. The hook does look correct, but you know you can get some of that stuff on eBay. Um, I'm not sure about the little spool. It's just a tiny little wooden spool. Usually those are red. That has red tint to it, so it may be original. It may just be faded. The crank and the lock nut washer on that do look original. That is the correct style of thing. The nut up here on both sides is correct. Our crossbar over here is very, very straight. This side's got a little dent in it, but it's not bad enough to worry about. This side is pretty straight as well. Um, the boom and everything's all original. It's got a nice matching patina. I dig it. You're supposed to hook this down. There's a hole, but it never stays. <laughs> it just walks itself loose when you're rolling it around playing this side. Same story. This, this side of the record bed's a little better. Um, there is a very rare tow truck out there if you ever find one. I don't know how many were made or anything, but is it 50, I don't, 54 or 55? I can't remember which year the tow truck, they started with the tow truck bed. But it has the round Ford style cab, and it actually said AAA. It says Tonka AAA record truck. And uh, AAA, I guess, contacted Tonka and said, hey, you don't have the right to use that. So they had to uh, change it the following year to the AA towing truck. <laughs> Which I guess was enough to work because they used the double-A tow truck all the way into the 70s, I think. Maybe even the 80s on some stuff. But, um, yeah, original stickers. I do wish these stickers weren't quite as yellowed. Um, but if I replaced them, it would just stand out like a sore thumb because the rest of the truck looks the way it looks. And the new stickers, which I have lots of uh, sheets of. But not real concerned with the sticker stuff. But, um, yeah. I really like this. Alright, so before we go, I'll show you my, my two little totes here of Tonka parts. And I've had this stuff, I've been collecting it. Um, if you've heard in the other videos, I used to sell reproduction Tonka parts in the early 2000s on eBay. Uh, reproduct anything from hubcaps to grills to windshields. I used to buy it in bulk. And uh, I had a pretty good little business going of parts. And I was, you know, I would buy a truck, take what I wanted off of it, sell what I didn't need and build custom trucks and stuff like that similar to what i'm doing now i just had a lot to you know i had a little bit of income from it to help pay for itself but uh this is pretty much the remnants of my collection i've got that looks like a 64 to 5 windshield brand new got all my stickers up here i've got a couple 55 56 i got these sheet of 58 59s i have a reproduction hydraulic cylinder which is already aged on its own. That's for the hydraulic Tonka dump truck. I had one I was fixing up and I ended up not using it on there. Um, nothing in door number one. Got a set of brand new five hole hubcaps. Got kind of rough originals. Really rough originals. Got some parts off other trucks. That's I think some, uh, I don't know how you say the brand name. Dopeki or Depco or something. One of their trucks had some mud flaps I tried to use. Uh, 55, 56 headlights. I still have quite a bit of those. Or for, I'm sorry, 56, 57. Yeah, 55, 56 had metal ones. Um, some original ones. The original ones can be cleaned up. They just need a lot of polish and uh, things. You can find some tricks on working with that kind of plastic on some of the, the Hot Wheels channels bare metal hot wheels and uh i can't remember all the names there's some really good channels and some of the stuff they use on their die cast cars come in handy with with uh this type of stuff headlights original 58 59 60 headlights new ones rusty solid hubcaps one good one rusty five spoke more mud flaps empty Decent five spoke, decent five spokes, decent. Those have been sandblasted. The five spokes and the solid ones rusted up really, really bad. Uh, these are actually some tow truck parts. This is a broken original spool. It cracked in half. 
and I have actually an original rubber grip for the crank on the tow truck and I didn't even think about that until I just saw it here I'm gonna slide that on there how cool is that I didn't even know I had that if I can get it on here now these are aren't hard to find replacements for pretty much any remote control car antenna top can be used I did not want to go on there there we go I don't want to break it because it, it's kind of neat it's the original it's a little little clean but oh well just something neat I don't even remember having that in here <laughs> so uh, yeah that's kind of neat Alright, look at hubcaps, 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 empty, uh, oh, that's a Buddy L station wagon tail light, <laughs> just one, I don't know what I'll ever do with that, not a lot of empty space here to grow, uh, that's the, the replacement rivets for Tonkas, the 7 16 I think, axle lock washers, empty, I've got a, some dome light, or, Police light parts, two bases, one light, and two clips. And I have a fire truck or ambulance hood siren. And this actually mounts on the fender. So uh, let's move over here to the other one. That's where it gets interesting. Oh, so this is, uh, we got original short axles, we got nylon axles, and some custom axles I made original axle washers I've got an original nylant 64 or 3 nylant Ford F100 grill I've got a stack of 55 or 56 57 Tonka grills in a range of conditions I like finding these with a little bit of patina um, I just put one of these on a primered body I have and it's got a nice patina to it, it looks really really cool um some really good original grills with their matching headlights now i find people on ebay parting out these i'll buy the set's just a stockpile um actually those yeah those are just really nice original headlights and the bumper is going to be in another drawer that goes with it another original grill original lights got a handful of them they kind of get worse the further down you dig but i've got that one would actually polish up this one's completely straight that one's got a little dent but it's got the Tonka T, so that's a later year. <laughs> an earlier year. Yeah, earlier year. It's 50, 58, 59. So, got a lot of good parts here. Got bumpers. These look like 50s, 56, 57 bumpers as well. That one. Somebody painted that with some weird stuff. They all need to be sandblasted. They're all pretty bad shape. I've got a brand new 60-61 grill with brand new lights. Uh, we've got a 63 grill, original with lights. Got a 54-55 that it's alright. Somebody really polished it up, but they didn't fix any of the dents and it's warped a little bit. Came on a truck I bought a long time ago. I just hang on to it. Got a couple good straight uh, either tow truck or highway department truck black bumpers, original. Got a really nice uh, polished bumper and a few more just original patina bumpers. Those are all 50, 58, 59s. Got some fenders. These are missing the some tabs. Got two in here that have good tabs. I've got a whole other box of fenders, but unfortunately most of them are missing tabs. Then we've got our 60, 61, 62, 60, 61 bumpers. Got a highway department black one. Got one that I painted white I used for a while on a project. I actually have a brand new one. That's kind of cool. I didn't know I had that. And I think this is a 50 or something Tonka bumper. Uh, just hang on to it. You never know what you might find a use for it. it goes on a cab over or something. But uh, yeah, that's my, my hardware stash. I've got a whole other tote full of tires and wheels and hub, not hubcaps, but tires and wheels, white walls, and there's some more axles and stuff. A little bit of mix everything. I'll wrap this one up. I hope y'all learned something. 
a um, little bit more restoration minded in this video not going to chop up something like this to me this is a, a really nice display piece it's got some history it's got some it's seen some love and uh I like it and it, it still rolls really well so happy with that I think it's going to look good on my display in my living room um, again it's not the most valuable truck in the world but it's one of my favorites I didn't like the 59 seem like you find more 59 60 tow trucks with the white walls and it just doesn't seem right having white walls on a tow truck so I always preferred the 58s and uh yeah but I appreciate you guys watching, and be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Follow me along on Instagram at Chop Toys. And, uh, yeah, help save these old trucks. I'll see you on the next video.